Alrighty, Pack Punch 3, here we are. And this thing absolutely melts. Look at how quickly I'm killing these zombies, bro. Tier 3, the toughest zombies in the game. We'll be seeing ya. See how much damage? Okay, that's actually pretty good damage. You can't even lie, that's pretty good damage. You see how much damage we're doing? Like, that's actually- Dude, for tier 3? Like, for tier 3, that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If you're new, if not, then welcome back. Today, as you guys could tell by the title, we're hopping into MWZ with the Striker gun. Now, I know that there's, like, the top three guns to use, the Lockwood 680, the tier, the, uh, the WSP Swarm, which I've heard might be nerfed, but... Who knows? But then there's this gun, which has low-key always been my favorite gun in Zombies. It's a very, very powerful gun. It has decent range, it's good full auto, and it's just a pretty easy gun to use. But for whatever reason, I never hear anybody talk about this gun. I've never heard this in like a underrated video. I've never seen somebody use it in any gameplays that I've seen. So today we're gonna be showing, I'm gonna be showing you guys how good this gun is and how much of a sleeper this gun is. Now the biggest thing is with this gun I've noticed is you're gonna wanna aim for the head the headshot multiplier for this gun seems to be just outlandish so if you do go and use this gun then make sure you guys are keeping that in mind and by the way here is the class setup on screen that you guys can see that's what i've been using that's what seems to work the best for me i always love throwing that massive ammo capacity on there or magazine size i guess that's always the first thing i unlock when leveling up a new gun i throw it in the armory and i make sure that my my contracts my daily challenges are going to unlocking that asap but anyways we're going to do this bounty mission real quick I'm not going to upgrade this gun. I do have a refined Ethereum crystal and a legendary tool and some perks that uh, that I got just to speed up the process so we're not in here for the full 45 minutes before I get to show you guys it at Pack Punch 3. We're going to hop into Tier 3. We're going to do some bounties in Tier 3 to show you guys just how good this gun is. But this is it just at base. You guys can see that if I'm aiming for the head, it's, it's actually doing decent damage. For a bounty, it's doing decent damage with literally zero upgrades. It's doing pretty good. If you guys watched my video last time, you guys will see just how useless the Lockwood somehow is without a Pack-A-Punch. It took forever for me to kill the bounty without the Pack-A-Punch. So even this gun already, it seems to be doing better than the Lockwood was when there's no upgrades on it. So at its base, this thing already seems to be doing better. And when I say already seems, it does sound like I haven't used this gun yet, but I swear I have. All right, so now that you guys get an idea of how good it is uh, without any attachments, we're just gonna throw all of these on here because why not? We're gonna give ourselves Juggernaut. We're gonna give ourselves stamina up and Luckily, we actually already got the, uh, we already got the speed cola. So that's what you love to see. We can save that for another rainy day. I will say I did hop into a game just before this, just to really solidify, because if I'm honest, I, I, I only use this in tier three once and it was just last game. And I will say I got it to pack three at a blue rarity and this thing was holding up. I, I did a bounty mission with little to no struggle. I will say right now though, I will preface you guys. If we get a bounty mission in tier three and it's a mega abomination, I'm just going to abandon it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's not because of the gun that's more because of my confidence fighting those things solo if i'm honest i uh i haven't the only times i've fought those things were in the missions were in the story missions and that's when i just went all out i used a juggernaut and i was using the tier gun or not the tier gun sorry the lockwood which is just simply overpowered against those things. Like you can literally like two shot the thing. And I, you guys can't see this, but somebody in the chat on the right just said cash for feet picks. Should I hit that guy up or what? Like you think I, maybe that's a girl gamer? Dude, is, is that a new strategy to market your OnlyFans? Hop in a Call of Duty Modern Warfare zombies lobby and start chatting in the chat. Let them know what your OnlyFans username is and shit. I actually might start doing that for mine. Guy said feet picks at I3. So obviously here we're having absolutely no struggle killing these guys and doing this mission. I'm just kind of, I'm not even really trying to be honest. Yeah, we'll throw brain rot on, why not? I said this in my last video in case you guys don't know. If you want to do extra damage to the special zombies, have a brain rot gun for a mimic, have a napalm burst for a mangler, and have a dead wire ammo mod for disciples. Then you're just going to be doing even extra more damage like i think that th that they're extra vulnerable to those ammo mods for whatever reason i don't know why but they just are you can always tell because the little ammo mod logo shows up to your damage shows up next to your damage when you're when you're shooting them with that ammo mod equip and the same thing happens for when you have cryo freeze and you're shooting a, uh, a hellhound but I don't know when, I don't know when you'd ever need extra damage on a Hellhound. I mean, you can take out tier three Hellhounds in like two shots without any upgrades. So I don't know why you would need that, but you know, 
just in case. We literally just got a new subscriber mid vid. So shout out to Daniel Guidon. Is that his name? Yeah, Gwin Gwindon. Yo, shouts to you, brother, if you're watching this. We got that sub mid-vid. You guys can see, if I'm shooting the zombies in the body, like, it's doing a decent amount of damage. But if I shoot them in the head... Okay, well, that guy's just gonna steal all the kills, so I'll show you over here. We got a disciple. I was hoping for a mimic. But look, if we shoot him in the head, doesn't want to count. We're literally one-shotting them in tier two. I know we have a pack two gold gun, but still, how many how many SMGs are really gonna be one-shotting uh, zombies in the head at a tier two, in tier two. Like, let's be real here. This is always the gun that I bring into story missions whenever I'm doing them. Because it's, because I can have a bit of range with it and it's more full auto, I just feel so comfortable using this gun over like the Lockwood or the tiers. Honestly, the tiers are, uh, the tiers are probably my least favorite. Oh, so you guys just heard that alert sound. You absolutely love to see it. Okay, raw theorem diagram is what you love to see. Another speed cola can. Now I have my uh, preview disabled on OBS, so I think maybe the alert even you guys could see, not, not even just hear it. So shouts to you, brother. But anyways, right now we're just kind of doing some missions, getting the uh, getting the necessary points to get this to pack punch three, and then we can hop into tier three and uh, and abuse some special zombies. We actually probably should armor up as well. Always a good idea, right? Am I tweaking? I thought we had zero armor or zero like armor, and then we just put in one and I got three. Am I tweaking? Oh, all right, kill him, kill him or what? Dude, if you guys aim for the head, like, it's literally a cheat code. This gun's literally a cheat code. Also, I don't know why the tiers get so much hype. Like, I tried them out, and honestly, mid. Like, let me know what you guys think about the tiers in the comments down below. If, if it's your favorite gun, or if you agree with me that they're they're kind of overrated. The main thing that I don't get is, is the goddamn thing has only five bullets in a magazine before you gotta reload, and the reload takes forever. So if you don't have speed cola, and you're using the tiers, you're kind of just, like, fucked. At least in certain scenarios. Like this one, boom, look at that, look at that speed, look at that reload. I know I have speed cola on, but it still would have been faster than the tiers. This is just, this is just too easy. And even if we get to tier three and we do some bounties and this isn't like the most highest damage output ever known to man. Like the point of this video and the point of, you know, videos like this that I might do in the future are more to just, you know, expand your horizon. You know, if you're ever feeling like not using a gun, that is the tier or is the Lockwood or is the Swarms and you wanna switch things up, I mean, I'm here to help discover new guns with you. For me, I've been going through pretty much, not all of them yet, but most of them so far because of my camo grind. And so along the way, we do discover some overpowered guns and this is this was the one that really, really stood out to me of all the ones that I've used so far. All right, we're probably about one contract away from being able to upgrade to Pack Punch 3. But let me know down in the comments below if you guys are also doing the Borealis camo grind and where you guys are at with that. I've actually been honestly slacking a lot with that just because of the videos I've been making the last like few weeks have been super busy for me. I feel like they've been busy for everybody especially anybody who celebrates Christmas. Oh, by the way, happy new year. But yeah, I haven't really been able to like sit down and super grind them. Right now I'm I'm on the shotguns, I'm going in order. I think I have all the ARs, the battle rifles and the SMGs done. I think that's where I'm at. And then now I'm on the shotguns, to be honest. I'm, I'm not sure what order they are in off, off the top of my head, but I think that's what it is. So let me know where you guys are at, if you guys have discovered any sleepers along the way as well. Or if there's any guns you guys, uh, yeah, if any, there's any sleepers you guys want me to take into tier three and test them out. I know we did it before with the uh, with the Storm Ender like EMP launcher. And that video did pretty well. You guys seem to really enjoy that video. So I definitely want to take more underrated, more sleeper guns into uh, tier three and test them out, especially as new battle passes drop. When the new guns drop with those battle passes, I definitely want to take those into tier three and test them out. The only reason why I didn't do the tar 27 is is that what the is that what it's called the only reason why I didn't do that was because there were other videos that I wanted to make and then by the time that I actually had a free like slot to make that video the, the gun had already been out for so long and it just kind of felt irrelevant so I'm gonna try to stay on top of those a little bit more as the the future battle passes come out so make sure you all are subscribing so you don't miss those videos all right we'll uh we'll take that speed cola we don't need that Casimir and we can actually just go pack punch right now actually so let's find it there it is and then we'll do one of these bounty missions and you know, like I said, if I'm if I'm just honest with you guys, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the uh, I'm not gonna do the mega abomination just because I did try to fight one, and dude, it wasn't even a damage thing; it was like a mechanic thing. Like I just fuck it, I got bodied. I won't lie. I am I I do tend to be usually more of a casual player. Why am I not taking a car? What the fuck? Okay, this guy wants to smoke. 
and we'll be seeing you. I do tend to lean more towards casual, like being a casual gamer, especially in PVE. Like unless it's, unless it's multiplayer COD or like ranked COD, most games I play, I play on like easy mode and I play on, uh, like I don't usually play PVP. Like COD is really the only game that I, that I PVP on. I don't know. The other ones I just don't really care to sweat in. But this one, don't get me wrong, I'm getting the fucking iridescent this year, let me tell you. At least one season. I gotta get to it at least one season. All right, let's fuck this guy up. Oh my god, he ate it! We're gonna go through the front entrance. We're gonna kill that dog just so... Oh, he turned. Just so he doesn't uh, piss us off down the road. All right. Oh, was that even the front door? It doesn't matter. All righty, pack punch three. Here we are. Nothing in there. And this thing absolutely melts. Look at how quickly I'm killing these zombies, bro. Tier three. The toughest zombies in the game. We'll be seeing you. And don't tell me that the ether zone are tougher zombies because I've actually heard that the health is the same. The health from tier three to tier, I guess technically four is the same. And I think the damage is the same as well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I think the only reason why the ether, like the ether zone is kind of considered tier four is because of the amount of zombies. It's more because of the difficulty of the zone than the difficulty of the zombies. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind if you're ever going into tier, uh, well, the ether, ether zone. All right, let's test that on, on this uh, dis disciple. Just this plain old disciple. Oh yeah, we're, we're melting this guy. We're melting this guy. If I can actually hit my shots. It's a tier three special zombie. Let's keep that in mind. That's a tier three special zombie right there. All right, let's get out of here before uh, trouble ensues. I told y'all, this fucking gun is sick. We're gonna try to get this as quick as possible and get the fuck out of here so we don't get trapped. There we go. All right, I always get scared whenever there's literally no zombies around. I'm actual loser. All right, I don't know if I just heard the mega abomination. If he's near or if he's... Okay, he's all the way down there. We're gonna, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep it that way. I'm just gonna pull out my juggernaut and sprint there. I'm not really gonna deal with anything else. But if a dog shows up, I will melt that guy. Uh, we got a mega abomination. I actually did not even check. So we're gonna abandon that. I probably should have checked. Guys, am I a loser for doing that? Let me know down in the comments. Comment, Ethan, you're not a loser immediately. Comment that immediately. This is where we get trapped. This is where we get trapped. I'm gonna have to kill these guys. Bro, where is this contract? Holy shit. That was exactly what I was afraid of happening, but we're good. Uh, okay, it's a mimic. Beautiful. Yeah, see, if you're shooting the body, it really, like, it doesn't really do that much. But as soon as you start aiming for the head, like, the, the headshot multiplier is just crazy. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. Oh, let's get that nuke. Yes, please. A little parkour action. A little tip, especially if you're in zone three and you see this ascend, jump and then ascend. It doesn't do the animation. Especially if you're getting chased by zombies, that could save your life, let me tell you. Oh, shit. Oh, there is. Okay, we're in a bad way right now, actually. This ain't good. This is not good. So let's uh, let's kind of train all these zombies up. Okay, that's not what we want, actually. That is not what we want. Let me out of here. Okay, who is hitting me? See how much damage? Okay, that's actually pretty good damage. You can't even lie. That's pretty good damage. Is that an attack helicopter? Why was that attack helicopter griefing me, brother? You see how much damage we're doing? Like, that's actually, dude, for tier three? Like, for tier three, that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Oh, where the f I guess that attack chopper just tried to fuck my day up. All right, we're gonna do this deliver contract, uh, because why not? It's not gonna show off the gun at all, but uh, we're gonna do it anyways. Oh, hey, brother. Now, I could do the outlast contract, but I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna kind of kind of scary because I don't really know what to expect in a tier three outlast contract. I don't know how soloable it is. Oh, you can turn a mimic? What? Could you always do that? Yeah, so if you guys wanted to use this gun, like, in the ether zone, I go right ahead. Like, this is super viable in that zone. The only reason why I'm not going in to test it, well, first of all, like I said, it's, it's the, the zombies in the ether zone are the exact same as tier three. So in terms of damage output, you guys will get the exact same idea watching me do it in tier three. But also, I'm a solo player. I, uh, I don't have the ether zone unlocked. I don't. I'll admit it. Now, if there's anybody here that wants to run it, happily, happily. Okay, you know what? We have a self-res. I'm feeling confident. Let's fucking send it. Let's fucking send it for the content. What's the worst thing that happens? I die and I just follow my own guide to getting everything back in one game. Like, I got this. I got this, right, guys? We're about to find out. I've heard to climb it, kind of climb up here and do this, but I don't know if that's still possible. Can we get up to the roof or... That's not probably gonna count, right? Okay, we have full for full armor, so if somebody comes up behind me, I'll be all right. At least I'll, I'll right enough to run. And we got ether shroud, we got stems, like we'll be fine. We're already at 50%. I feel like everything is just gonna come out once. Like all of a sudden I'm just gonna be super fucked. 
Oh yeah, like a, like maybe like a mangler coming up from behind me. Like, does that? We have to dip out for a second. It's fine. Kill these dogs. We're already at ninety percent. Dude, just kill the super sprinters, and we're out. Of Dude, am I goaded? Is that a good reward, guys? All right, we'll be seeing you. Let's loot this thing, bro. This had better loot than the fucking reward. Um, all right, wait. Was that the easiest contract uh, to do? Let's let's run another bounty one. I'm feeling confident. Hopefully, it's not a uh, mega abomination, so we can actually do it. Hopefully, it's like a mangler or something. Well, actually, hopefully, it's a mimic again because we have a uh, sky might. Oh no. Hopefully, it's a mimic again because we have the uh, the brain rot ammo mod still. So grab that quickly. Get out of here. We don't want. Uh, what happened last time to happen? Or I guess we I guess we did get out of it last time. Oh shit, Mega Abomination. That's what you absolutely love, hate to see. That is what you hate to see. To be honest, like, I just won't be able to kill it. I will die. There's just no point. Lots of Hellhounds. Ah, damn. Not another bounty. We could do Spore Control, but Spore Control can get a little hairy. It can get hairy in tier one, so... Actually, what we could do is go get this one and cancel it. But doesn't that just spawn like another cargo one that's not really gonna show the gun off do i need to keep showing this gun off like you guys get it right we're gonna go run some tier two actually because there are a few tier two schematics that i still need like i think i still need the shatter blast ammo mod which i think comes from tier two i don't know if the refined ethereum crystal comes from tier two i don't think it does also like it, have you guys come across the vr11 even once because since season one dropped, I have not even run into the VR11 one time. I have not seen it drop from a mystery box. I haven't seen it drop from a uh, contract. I haven't seen anybody using it. Let me know. Have you guys even seen the VR11? Is it even in the game? Like, or are we just, you know, chasing waterfalls out here? So you guys saw, like, I'm solo. I'm a de I'm a decent player. I'm not like anything crazy. And we were we were holding our own in tier three very very easily. That Outlast contract was surprisingly easy. But you guys even saw the damage we were doing against the mimic. I wish we could have shown it off more, but we got a little unlucky uh, with getting two abomination con or bounties. I don't know if you guys are at home wishing that I would have done those, but to be honest, they're just. There just wasn't a point. You guys might say like, oh, fuck it, just go for it. We don't care, but like, I'm just gonna die. It's just not gonna be fun. Like, it's not gonna be fun for it. Did I just shoot that fucking zombie in the balls? It's just not gonna be fun for anybody. So here we can even do some testing. If you're not a, if you're not a tier three player, I can show you guys just the kind of damage that this thing does against the tier two bosses. I mean, we don't even need a full mag and the guy's dead. Nothing special. We can run. Nah, let's run this Outlast contract, actually. Dude, I've done a tier two Outlast contract that was harder than that tier three one. Did I just get lucky or like, did I finesse it? What the hell was that noise? Assume a disciple? What was that noise? I guess it was just a bunch of clanging. Oh, it might have been that mangler. Oh, here come the zombies. Right as it's too late. I mean, this thing just makes tier two way too easy. Ooh, and the shatter blast formula. We'll replace that because we already have that. The wonder waff. Oh shit, can we stow that? How do we stow that? And then we can like, uh, we could drop it, right? And we can stow it. <laughs> Was there any way to stow that? Did I fuck that up? Anyways, we got the Shatter Blast ammo formula. That's all of the sha the ammo mods, dude. All right, I think you guys get the idea. We're gonna go do some X filling. Make sure you guys are using this gun if you're not already. If you're looking for a new gun to use, this is an absolute sleeper. Again, check the class setup at the beginning of the video if you uh, are now realizing that this might be a gun you wanna add to your roster. Also, here's a little science tip. If you're ever parachuting and you come across these cranes and you wanna hit it, just hold square, get up against it. Oh, baby, you'll glitch inside. Come on now. These things are key for traversal. Just take that guy out for fun, why not? He's kind of pissing me off. Alrighty, guys, there you have it. The Striker SMG in Modern Warfare Zombies. This thing is just way too good. An unbelievably sleeper gun. And like I said, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have discovered any other guns that might be sleepers that you guys want to showcase here on the channel. I'll give you, I'll even give you a little shout out, you know, if the gun's really good, or even if I, you know, decide to do it, I'll give you a little shout out. Fuck it, why not? So yeah, let me know which sleeper gun you guys want me to hop into tier three with next. Here is the class setup one more time. Make sure you all smash that like button as it really does help the channel grow. Make sure you hit the subscribe button while you're at it so you never miss a video here on the channel. With that being said, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.